y'all welcome to switch it up. You wonder why we're on the side of the busy road? With all the tools out, oh, we broke some things. So roll the intro and let's see what Todd's doing. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. And they didn't know where they would go, but it's gotta be better than staying home. They switched it up. They switched it up. The tire? Yeah. Not yet. Nope. Well, it's a good thing we stopped when we did. Because you have... And the funny part is, is I check this stuff all the time. So this is really weird to see... Like, it developed that quickly. Because the other, other tires are fine. It's just this right one. I right know. rear. So I don't know what's going on. Where's the Where's the spare at? I already I already put it down. It's where that handle sticks out. And I probably have to put air in it because we've never checked the air in any of this. But this is the importance of doing your walk around every time you stop though. If you don't do the walk around every time you stop. But it's like something peeled away at the last minute because it was not like that when we left but look at oh yeah so that's the verge of a blowout happening it's like a, a piece completely peeled off i mean pretty fortunate that what didn't happen yeah good thing i had to pee Our spare was located. I'm just happy this doesn't we don't have to do this next like onto a side road. Yeah we found a pullover spot. Right. Basically we pull we found a pullover spot because I needed to pee and Todd did his walk around and noticed that that tire was going something happened with it. So it was good that he checked and good that I had to pee. I'm going to have to check. Hey, on this. Oh, that's like a normal full size tire. It is. I'd love to help you, but I can't touch them. I know. I didn't know what that hole was for. I was just always wondering what that hole was for. It's for that your hole is lowering down that. Do you need to put the flat back on there? No, it'll go in the back of the truck. Okay. It's not. When, how, when did you learn that that's what that hole is for? Are you kidding me? Like. No, I'm serious. You don't serious. give me any credit? No, when did you learn that? I've known it for since we've owned it. You always look to see where the spare is for problems. Oh, you always look for where the problem the spare is. I never knew. I'm glad I got you, babe. But look at this view. What? You're not, you can't indulge in the view? Not at the moment. Okay, well I'll take it in for us. So yeah. It's see, pretty special. Just so you know that this handle yeah. that comes, mm -hmm. I made a special like area for it to um, hang. So I knew exactly in the time of emergency where it was. Um, well, aren't I the lucky one to have you as my driver? <laughs> Once a year, you should check the air in your spare. So when you're in a situation, you do not have to worry about the air pressure in your spare tire. That should be on a one year breakdown every year, I think. So, so it looks like you're putting air in our spare, so we haven't done that. No, that's what I'm saying. It should have been so added this, to the checklist. We're gonna add it to the checklist to do on Once the one year. year one year but this tire minder pressure thing I'm so thankful we have that because that other one was not would not have gotten us no 
what we needed in this situation. <sighs> Can you imagine if we this would have happened, blow out right next on the highway? No, because we were next to that semi a whole lot. That would not have been good. We have been kind of putting off getting new tires. Yes. But, it's alas, time. it is time. We got to stop and get new tires. New tires, Todd. Do we have to take the RV in to get new tires? We've like, never done it. Oh, I guess we could check around, order. I think I did. We could pull all the tires. I mean, you put the jacks up, pull all the tires off, and then take them in to get remounted and rebalanced and then stick them back on. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Almost as bad as what we're dealing with now. Yeah, like that. So we got everything, well we, Todd got everything put back together. And then we were getting ready to leave. And he just said, oh no, something is not good back here. So let's go see what he's talking about. What's the matter under there? Let's see the camera. This, we're gonna be here a while. Broken. This had to just happen. Good thing that we noticed stopped. Leaf springs broken. Not only did we almost have a blowout, we have a broken leaf spring completely. And the other lo side looks like it's been kind of carrying the load. So we have to fix this before we can go anywhere else. It's a matter of time, I guess. How did the sumo spring save us on that? Well, the sumo spring saved us because when the leaf spring broke, it uh, provided the support in between the frame and this wheel. So the this actual spring of the wheel was in between the two. So this was giving us the support so things didn't get really messed up. So the sumo spring saved us. Thank you. Thank you, sumo springs. This has to come off. Oh my gosh. Then we have to replace the spring. I didn't make any sandwiches. You're gonna be here a while. You can make all kinds of sandwiches. We, <laughs> I don't wanna be here while on the side of the road. Yes, we're off the road. There's a plus. Snap. RV life, right? Gotta love it. Oh, I'm gonna go take this side down and put that side up. Okay. So I never got rid of my two by fours. Ever. Never get rid of two by fours. So now you're gonna replace the leaf spring. Yeah. Have you ever done that before? No. But because I watched a YouTube video from another YouTuber. Your boy Todd bought two leaf springs so we would never have to stress. I just gotta figure out how to put them on. That's all. What's the worst that can happen? How come it's always the short travel days that turn into the worst? Yes. It's it always seems, that. Seems to be the way. The two by fours went away. thing is I don't need much space currently. My first question is was what exactly does a leaf spring do? Now that is a great question. Well, why is there a hole in our belly? Well that's because everything pulled down when everything went south. So looking for a socket. The leaf spring is a suspension so it causes when we go over bumps it causes you know you to be able to not feel it as much and the sumo spring sits on top here and so what it does is it absorbs some of that so the bouncing people with independent suspension do they have a leaf spring no okay that's why like mo ride people go get their updates on their mo rides i'm so glad that we're not sitting on the side of a highway so the good part is <laughs> Those that spend the money for going for the Mo Ride independent suspension, you don't have to worry about this. 
But for those of us who don't, you, I carry, I bought two extra leaf springs about nine months ago. And just because I was like, what happens if we're in the middle of nowhere? Hence, Hence Wyoming. Wyoming. <laughs> and something goes south. I'm hoping I have the right size leaf spring. Oh, I, yeah. That's, that's the other issue. So basically, it's going to be bolts on top that need to come out for U-bolts that hold the axle in place. And then the other bolts will be one here, one up here. You can see where it's broken. Oh, like it, like that metal just snapped straight in half. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not a good thing. <laughs> Thanks. Even I know that. <laughs> and where it could have been bad, what Sheila doesn't realize, this axle is the main axle where the brake line that handles all of the brake uh, adjustments come into this axle first. So if we would have, this would have went horribly wrong, it would have taken out all of our brakes. It could have went up into the belly. We could have had a pretty big catastrophe. See, all those prayers of the switch crew really mean a lot. They help keep us safe on yeah. the road. Yeah, I mean, we prevented a blowout on the other side of this same axle. And because of, it was all because I had to pee. <laughs> the point of that is, oh, yeah. <laughs> when you do stop, do your walk arounds. So after I took that tire and put it on, I got on my hands and knees, crawled underneath to discover that this had broken. So we could have got right back on the road and had a huge catastrophe. So those two things, yeah. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get the, I don't have a knuckle for my, so I gotta figure out how to get these U-bolts off. So we'll figure that out. These are heavy, super heavy. Look at me. You're, you're pretty strong. Oh, I'm so strong. <laughs> It's so stupid. <laughs> Is that the right size? I don't know. I won't know until I uh, try. It looks like it should fit. Yeah. <laughs> In case you're wondering, this is 11 or 11 sixteenths on the bolt side, and I think 13 sixteenths on the other side. So there you go. Add that to the list. One broken leaf spring. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> like this is, I think this is the other piece. <laughs> well, the tip is to have all the parts you need. Right about now, somebody is sitting at home going, I'm really impressed with Todd. Is that what you think? I hope so. So question. Yeah. Could a broken leaf spring have twisted that tire over there to make it rub the wrong direction and start to cause a... Oh, that is a good... Yeah, it could have broken... Like it just would it, twist... Caused a, it to wear... Because that tire was fine. Yeah, it might just have... I'm just... It, i just surprised... Usually I do the walk around and I'm kind of surprised I didn't spot this whole scenario. Well, maybe it all just happened. These roads are amazing, you know? Yeah, Wyoming has great roads. Okay. Yeah, Imagine. Now what you doing? So I'm going to use these new bolts and put them and in. And put that leaf spring in there? Yeah, somehow. Okay. It looks like it would be pretty heavy. It looks that way. But that's why... You work out? <laughs> that isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I use, find myself funny. <laughs> you use brain power. Oh, that's what everybody over 50 says as well. <laughs> Man, you're full of them, aren't you? <laughs> it's quite a mess. What? I'm saying it's quite impressive, actually. Turn on, know how to turn the propane on. You've come a long ways. You've come a long ways, babe. I think I got them. leaf springs from propane to leaf springs. <laughs> Somebody is going to say I need to torque these down appropriately, but unfortunately, in this situation, we don't have that 
opportunity. So we're just going to use what we have on the... What's torque it down right look like? These have to have so much pressure. Ah. Now I actually have a torque wrench, but to dig it out, I, don't, I, don't, I just want to get on the road. Plus we're going to have to get a new tire, so it's a lot coming into play here. When we have the new tire, can we torque it at that time? Yeah, I guess so. Because it's all lined up. There's a center point here that lines up your U-bolts that lines up with the axle and this locks it in place so everything's back into where it needs to be. I gotta put the sumo springs back on. That, are we gonna have to fix that hole in the belly so it yeah. doesn't get full of water sometime soon? Yep. Okay, so what's next? Put the tire back sumo on? Sumo springs. Oh, sumo springs. One of them is bent, I think. I thought I saw that that looked, one of them looked bent. They could be as much torque as it was under. Thank you, sumo springs, anyway. This, is, this has been a lifesaver. We one... just need to get a new shackle. Yep. Wow. That bent. It saved us. It really did. You need me to check into a hotel so you can get a bubble bath? Don't tempt me. Tire! Tire's next. Okay. How many miles did you say we think we have on these? We're at 34,000, I think. Really? You did time it? Well, yeah, well, I can go back and look and I... Oh, when you first texted somebody? Yep, and said, oh, we have an issue. Okay. Looks like tire pressures are good. Leaf springs back on. It all looks good. So you changed, put it on a spare tire, changed the leaf spring on the other side, two hours, 15 minutes. I give you a lot of crap about things you don't do, but you did a great job on all of that. I know. I just wish there was a way to preventatively look after leaf springs. And being a toy hauler, you carry, you know, back on those, that back axle, it's dealing with full oh, gas wait. tanks, motorcycle. So yeah, it's dealing with a lot, especially when the roads are going boom, boom, boom. They've been doing that a lot. All right, thanks Sumo Springs. We out? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, All like, comment, things. subscribe. <laughs> this is RV life at its best, baby. we need new tires. Yeah, we need new tires. We need subscribers for tires. Okay, we're out.